What's up guys, welcome to another video. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to another video. And today, we're going to be doing four battles. The fourth one isn't really a battle, but basically three massive battles and you'll see what the fourth one is later. Now, we're going to do three of these battles. They shouldn't be too long, so... Let's get into this. First one, sorry. First one is the uh, war. It's called the War of Darkness. As you can see, the dark. Obviously, this is medieval times, and the world is shattered. Bones, and you get the point. And the blues have to try and defend his castle, and it's so indestructible. And because of this, there's a bit of a problem. So. Let's see who will win. Now, I kind of do have a bit of an idea because I have tested these. I didn't do the whole map, so I kind of have an idea, but I'm not going to spoil it. And if we, anyways, let's get into the battle. So, first battle is between the darkness and the, and the light. Even the three lords, the Lord, Lord of Hell, the Lord of Darkness, and the Lord of Fire... Are on the red team, and then the Lord of Silver, aka okay, whatever, saying God and worship. So, obviously, you can see. Hold on, let me turn it down a bit. As you can see, this forces this blue force is gonna get shredded by the dark. And yes, you can see the three lords. And there's a bit of a cavalry charge over here with the head go flying. Some of the Bows in the castle are probably going to start shelling that. And these guys are getting wrecked. And they're flame bows, I think. So, have fun with that one. Wait, are they flame bows? Yep, they are. And they are getting shredded. Let me speed up time a bit here. So, these guys are trying to get close to the, to the castle. As you can see, the horses... The, yeah, the horses. The cavalry from the other side, from the left side, is going to come start charging in. And the darkness hasn't done too bad. They are poor. No, yeah, they're losing. And they got dogs. <laughs> they use darkness of dogs to, again, to go against like the Jewish and stuff. But basically, all these maps are just for fun. No offense to any of these maps this is just how it's been so we are bringing in cannon pulse, so let me speed up time a bit so it doesn't a cannon pole has hit it didn't destroy it though we have launched another one yeah not destroying it the archers are shredding the reds the lord of darkness is going in and he falls to a longsword. No, that's a king, isn't it? For some reason, they don't have their clowns on. There's a flying horse. There was a flying horse I just saw. If I turn comments on, comment down below about if you saw the horse. There's 18 artists here. And meanwhile, this battle is going on. This guy is going up close to the ballista and gets shot by his own teammates. Lovely job. And another cannonball. Oh my god, the castle has been broken. And this could lead into to that uh, trash. Okay, whatever. Catastrophe. <laughs> catastrophe and there's the archer so that's round number one done hmm i think it was a bit longer than it needed to be anyways next one is uh hold on <laughs> okay, did I pass it? I did, didn't I? There. So, this is the battle. Where basically the Mongols are bringing their 
Oh, what is going on? Anyways, they're bringing those things in, and they're to break down the walls that the Europeans have set up against it. Again, this is just for fun, not supposed to be realistic, even though the Mongols did go into Europe. They were the second largest empire, a little small, quite a bit smaller than the British, but still really big. And they expanded quite big, and there was a lot bef a long be time before the British Empire. And they're obviously using elephants and cavalry, what the Mongols are known for. So, let's get into this. So... Europe versus the Mongolian Empire. Who will win? This is a bit of a 50-50. Now, this one, I don't really have a title. I think it might be the... I think it might be the Mongols, to be honest. Because they have more men and the... What is it called again? These things. Rampage. As you can see, all this is EIP. And for some reason, that's Mongol. But just ignore all that. They're just trying to keep the Mongols out. These guys are going to break through the wall. <laughs> Wait for it. Bro! Wait, that that's one. Yes, they're breaking through the walls. And then the Europeans should be going through. They have mortars, the Europeans. Not the modern ones, the medieval ones. They're going behind this. Whatever that's called. Okay. They're just going to go across here and just go across all this wood, okay? This guy is clear. Oh, God. European might be screwed. The Mongol Empire might actually win this one. The Black Horses are going into the wild. Hmm. A European is just here, right next to this thing. Like, what the trans? I saw a moustache, and maybe that's Italian. I don't know. And they're a dead end from <laughs> Wait, how did these guys get blown up? Was that friendly far? Because the mortars, I don't think they can reach that far. I think they can only reach around here. Not there. So, going in, there's just a bunch of dead debris. Horses. Elephants. I think this might be a mini-series where we test out fun little battles I make. Oh my god, this is King Horse the First. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the heck was that? Anyways, I am going to speed up time a bit. Mr. Horse ends. That's unfortunately a win for the Europeans. I am a bit sad on that one because I did kind of want the Mongols to win. We should give respect to the Mongols. Again, this is all the way in... 2000? Yeah, 2000 or... There's 1800, 1700, so 2000, yeah. So this is back in 2000. And I don't think the mortars were made until about 15 or 16 or probably 1700. Wait, that's not when the medieval times, so probably about 1400, 1500. This is the next one. I can't believe I just came across that. I was just thinking and I realized, yeah. So this one's a bit further into the future. This is World War One. The Germans have a Zeppelin. That's not too far. I shall uh gas attack as the British. There's a gun that just shoots everybody. It's literally on no one's side. There's some gas bombers for the British. Again, the British are just using regular World War One units, and then for the Germans, I give them some custom units, some bayonets on their T forty fours. They have. I oh, know, yes, that's a tank as well, but again, it's a rifle for some reason. If you don't believe me, then just... If you have Agent Water 3 and you don't believe me, just check it out. They have some gas grenades, some tanks, and let's move in. <sighs> Holy crap. This is pro... I think this is the bloodiest one. So let's get our hands shoveled into this. <sighs> it's not going to be good. There's one dot a little closer to the British side. When I tested it, the British were the closest one. Because I think the British will probably... Be... Yeah, when I tested it, Britain was getting blown up first. So, maybe the Germans have a bit of advantage here. I'm not sure who will win. Because I didn't really test this one out that much. So, let's get into this. The German armies, the free tanks. And, or the ATVs. So, the British are moving up north. So are the Germans, and they have a Zeppelin on the way. They are sniping the British. 
but missing because all the mountain mountainous terrain. Who is gonna die first? I a British guy just died. Come on, somebody die. Okay, oh now they die. The gun is now destroyed. The now there's a front up here. Oh, they're dropping the gas bombs, and they missed. Lovely. The British are charging in, shredding the German line. Why? Okay, whatever. They are getting a vantage point up here, shooting down the British armies. That guy uh, flopped to his death. I'm not sure those ATVs are destroyed. I'm not sure about that one either. I know the Mark 5s are still alive though. And I think this is a British victory. Again, Blue has won all these battles. Saisha. I think it's Schneider means shit in German, doesn't it? I'm not sure. This. I don't know what is going on. I think I'll sleep at time a bit. And I think that's a German defeat. These guys are just sniping the Mark 5s. There's this guy up here. Yeah, I'm, I'm classifying that as a British victory. Now, the last one. The one you have been waiting for. I think you've been waiting for this one. Oh, sorry, I was about that. Uh, I think you've been waiting for this one for about 12, almost 12 minutes. Now, this one's not really a battle. If you want to know what it is, there's American Nuke in Japan, and I'll do it with Japan Nuke in America, so it's fair, and maybe another video. But sorry, Japan. <laughs> No offense to Japanese. I like Japanese. They're they're cool. But again, we're doing this for 1945 Hiroshima and Nagasaki reasons. So again, you're just one of these guys. Don't know why you're crying. Maybe because your grandmother can meet you a nice little. Uh, what do I make for? For why are these guys crying? Oh yeah. So they're crying because their mom. Couldn't give them um, chocolate for breakfast. There you go. Anyways. So houses. Yeah, but and. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And th you're fishing a house. <sighs> hmm. When did they do that in actual Japan? Like, you're not me, not Japan. <laughs> okay, you should be. All right. Here we go. So the American bombers are coming in. Full race. And they should drop a nuclear bomb. You should. Drop a fat ass nuclear bomb. You did it. That guy died. And that guy. Come on. Do you have the atomic bomb? Yes, you do. Then drop it. Drop it, damn piece of shit. What? 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 Screw America. Jesus. America is bad at their bombing. The shitty Sherman was bad enough. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Anyways, guys, we're gonna end the video. Oh, idiot. Mostly, I can speak way better, but for videos, sometimes I like to go for entertainment. So, guys, if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike it, then you can dislike it. Well, well that'll be kind of a shame, and it'll make me sad, and I'll cry for 10 days. I'm kidding, but, but still, that, that, that would be quite outstanding. But, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, Maybe hit the subscribe button and get up to 22 subscribers. Anyways, guys, we're going to end the video here. And I'll book you out.